So we're getting ready to uh, start some attacks, so I just want to pass on a little story. So my wife, uh, over the holidays, was shopping, and uh, she's coming out, she got all her bags and shit like that, and uh, some crackhead, you know, we live in, uh, like, downtown Fort Lauderdale, and uh, she was out towards the beach shopping at one of the malls. But anyway, so some crackhead comes up to her and is like, uh, what do you got in the bag? Let me, let me get one of those bags from you. And so my wife, of course, uh, carries a knife with her, so she pops open her knife, and, you know, in her uh, Filipino bag starts, you know, you want my bag, mother? You want my bag? Come get my bag. And so she got the knife out, and she starts heading towards the guy because she's freaking crazy. And uh, the guy starts backing away, and now there's some people looking over because she's yelling at him, you know, you want my bag? Come get my bag. And uh, the guy's backing away, and then uh, she actually starts chasing the guy with the knife, and he goes running away. And everybody, like, uh, in eye shot is, like, clapping and laughing and stuff like that. My wife is, you know, I would have killed him. I kill him. <laughs> if he come back, I kill him. I kill his friends. <laughs> so she's all going crazy. She's telling me. So, anyways, uh, you know, that's all it takes in a lot of times is you know that threat display, and uh, uh, a look on your face that you're serious uh, will get rid of most of these uh, potential threats. So, anyways, well, I don't advise that she does something like that. But you know, I'm not really uh, gonna give her advice that she's. <laughs> she's gonna follow I mean I taught her how to fight with a knife but you know as far as uh her uh, uh her uh Disposition. avoidance <laughs> uh and her uh awareness type skills you know are uh are well honed let's just say and uh she is uh she's fearless man she's fearless if that was you know if that, I don't know if it was Steven Seagal uh she probably still would have gone at him with the knife if it was Brock Lesnar she still would have got him with the knife you know, of course, if it was Steven Seagal, she probably would have asked for his autograph, too. But she still would have had the knife on him. <laughs> so, anyway, just a little story for you. All right, so let's see. So we're going to uh, get on to an uh, attack again this, against this armed assailant. And we'll uh, show you some of these examples. Again, we're just trying to set up a, uh, a basic attacking premise for you uh, as, as uh, meets the parameters of this class. Again, you know, your attack, you're going to go with your strengths, that type of stuff. But if you're looking for a, uh, a basic uh, a road, uh, not roadblock, a basic uh, map to start following, uh, uh, a foundation for your attacks, you know, we'll show you some uh, some different attacks here, and we'll talk about some theory behind it. I think we've, have, we, have I gone over all this stuff already? Or? So anyways, yeah, what we're looking at is uh, we attack in different matters depending on how the threat is uh, facing us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at his stance and we're gonna find uh, where's the weakest part of the stance. And it becomes easier to find the weaker part of the stances when you actually uh, know how to attack from those stances. So again, you know, I, t I talk a lot about, uh, you'll see a lot of videos on the internet where guys are saying, oh, this is what you do against that jailhouse shanking attack. But then when they show you the jailhouse shanking attack, they're not even doing it, you know, properly. So, I mean, that, that's a critical thing. So you know, that's one of the things we, uh, we bring into these attacks is we have thought about it from the attacker's viewpoint is, you know, where, where are his weaknesses? And, uh, you know, we're going to focus on those weaknesses, that type of stuff. So again, we're gonna get on with this uh, frontal meeting with a uh, opposite side lead. So it'll be like a mirror image. And uh, this guy is going to be unarmed and again, like we said, you know, there's lots of reasons to uh, attack an unarmed uh, uh, threat. Uh, if, if he's threatening you and you feel that uh, if you don't pull this knife out and defend yourself, that he can uh, uh, kill you or cause serious bodily injury, you know, then you're completely uh, justified in pulling that knife out and going to work on this guy. So we'll show you how we would uh, advise you start off uh, going to work on this guy. And again, you know, stick to your strengths. Okay, so we're going to attack a, uh, an unarmed threat with our knife. And again, this attack is going to follow uh, the same basic uh, floor plan, let's say, as our uh, zone one defense was. So it'll make it pretty easy. Okay, so give me a lead here. Okay, so this guy's talking. And uh, he's probably getting ready to set up a, uh, a punch to Cole Cogby. You can see he's already bladed at me. Uh, you know, his hands are here. He's already, uh, he's already made his intentions. Uh, he's verbalized his intentions already. Uh, and so, you know, I have to defend myself here. 
you know, maybe I'm uh, in a boxed-in area where I can't get away from this guy. You know, uh, I've already made my knife ready. I have my knife out, and uh, so I'm going to attack him from here. So again, you know, no matter how close I am, really doesn't matter. The first thing I got to do is I got to get something up in his face. I want his attention right here because I'm going this way. Again, same thing we did with that zone one. We came over here. We're going to do almost the exact same thing, except for we're going to get our hands up, and we're just going to stick our knife out at him and cut down as low as we can. Okay? We want to cut anything in our path. Now, this would be kind of a, uh, a pressure cut, let's say, uh, because it's not a, a standard hack. But I'm just trying to get my knife up in his face. I want him to try to defend this. I want his attention here. And again, I'm just ripping this down. This is what I call a full body cut. I'm trying to get anything I can, and I'm not really worried about getting anything specific. I want his attention here, because this is not where I'm gonna stay. So again, here we are, we're talking, and he's maybe got his hands up or not, and all of a sudden, here I come right at him. This knife has touched his ear. I've come down, I've just cut his arm. I've cut his leg, I've gotten everything I could. And now I'm gonna start with my, uh, I'm gonna hook his neck here, and I'm gonna have an attack here. So again, I wanna get as much of his attention here as I can. Now from here, I've got good control of him. Now I'm gonna start our shanking, rolling the blade, getting to his neck with one cut. Now I wanna take him to the ground, okay? This is, uh, we're getting into the sentry removal area. Of course, if this was just a threat I wanted to get away from, at any point I could have left this guy. So again, how lethal was my attack initially? I'm here. I'm in here. I'm slashing down. I'm grabbing him here. Put this knee anywhere on the thigh, in the groin, on the stomach, up to the head, okay? It can go to any of those places, whichever you're best at. So slamming here. Now I can leave right now if I want. If I want, I can leave. If he's got two buddies over here, I probably want to do a little more to this guy. You know, I at least want to get these two slashes in here to let his buddies know I'm a serious person. I am willing to do whatever it takes to get out of this situation. My level of violence is not limited. Beware, because I'm coming for you next, okay? These are things that you have to think about, okay? But again, after I threw this knee, could I leave? Yes, I could have left. But again, this isn't a case where I can leave. The door is locked. Uh, this guy could follow me. I have to go somewhere where this guy could follow me. So I need to finish this guy off. Again, I've got him here. Now I'm gonna fight my way over here. Get on his neck. I'm gonna rip the neck. Now from here, I'm gonna throw this guy back. And I'm gonna ride him to the ground. I'm not just gonna throw him to the ground and let him fall. I'm gonna ride him to the ground. I wanna maintain this contact. Now he's gurgling. Maybe he's gonna yell something like that. Take this knife and stuff it right up in the back of the face of his skull. Start twisting it around while it's in there. Pull it out. Okay, if he's got a hand there, I can go for the side of his neck. I can go for his uh, his uh, throat, you know, whatever I want. But basically, this is where I'm going, right up in here. You'll feel the area where you want to go. And you just want to keep going until you get in there as deep as you can. You want to keep moving that blade around, seat cutting it, until you're all set. And now we get up off of this guy make sure everything's clear and we can get where we have to go. Okay, so come back up. Uh, <laughs> okay, so again, here we are, we're talking. This, uh, we are, we're in a situation, we're uncomfortable. And again, we're gonna be here. Bam! Jab it, jab it! That was not a good one. Yeah, stab it, stab it. I kinda wanted to talk and I should have kept going. You're a little bit on my uh, on my spinal column. You come up on an angle from here. 
here. Okay. Uh, this here, 45 degrees, up in the underneath the skull. You don't want to just pound on my, uh, yeah, you don't want to just pound on these, uh, the vertebrae right here. Winding up on your, I don't know if you realize you're not here, let me see it. So it's just going to come here. It's going to come straight. I want that straight. You're kind of coming like this. I want this straight here. Cover here. Full. Bam. Bam. Okay. So think of it as like a one, two, and this hand kind of scooping up here. And then three, and then four, five, and then go for six.
I'm not gonna do it. I was just, I was just checking it out. Is that? All right, so again, if you have any problems with that thing, this guy is fighting back. Just keep fighting towards the rear of him. Keep working that uh, angle three thrust into his kidneys. Uh, if he's able to stand up again, just start over again. Coming that way and working it that way. Try to get that knee in into him to uh, limit his mobility uh, and to uh, where you can get around. So we're getting ready to uh, start some attacks. So I just want to pass on a little story. So my wife uh, over the holidays was shopping and uh, she's coming out. She got all her bags and shit like that. And uh, some crackhead, you know, we live in uh, like downtown Fort Lauderdale. And uh, she was out towards the beach shopping at one of the malls. But anyway, so some crackhead comes up to her and is like, uh, what do you got in the bag? Let me, let me get one of those bags from you. And so my wife, of course, uh, carries a knife with her. So she pops open her knife and, you know, in her uh, Filipino bag starts, you know, you want my bag, mother? You want my bag? Come get my bag. And so she got the knife out and she starts heading towards the guy because she's freaking crazy. And uh, the guy starts backing away. And now there's some people looking over because she's yelling at him, you know, you want my bag? Come get my bag. And uh, the guy's backing away. And then uh, she actually starts chasing the guy with the knife and he goes running away. And everybody like uh, in eye shot is like clapping and laughing and stuff like that. My wife is, you know, I would have killed him. I kill him. <laughs> if he come back, I kill him. I kill his friends. <laughs> so she's all going crazy. She's telling me. So anyways, uh, you know, that's all it takes in a lot of times is, you know, that threat display and uh, uh, a look on your face that you're serious uh, will get rid of most of these uh, potential threats. So anyways, well, I don't advise that she does something like that, but, you know, I'm not really uh, going to give her advice that she's, <laughs> she's going to follow. I mean, I taught her how to fight with a knife, but, you know, as far as uh, her, uh, uh, her, uh, Disposition. Avoidance uh, and her uh, awareness type skills, you know, are uh, are well honed. Let's just say, and uh, she is uh, she's fearless, man. She's fearless. If that was, you know, if that, I don't know if it was Steven Seagal, uh, she probably still would have gone at him with the knife. If it was Brock Lesnar, she still would have got him 